This is verifying contracts programmatically on Etherscan, and we're starting right now. And welcome back to the Rug Doc YouTube channel. We've partnered up with Etherscan to bring you some amazing how-to videos on using their platform. Now, make sure you stay on the lookout for other videos if you find this one helpful. We'll be releasing some more shortly. First, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications icon to our YouTube channel so you know whenever new stuff's coming out. And with that being said, let's get started on verifying contracts programmatically. Source code verification provides a way for projects to open source their smart contract code for end users to inspect and verify that it does what it claims to do. By uploading source code, Etherscan will match the compiled contract bytecode with that on the blockchain and display it under the contract tab. For repeated or multiple verification of contracts, it may be more productive to programmatically verify your contracts through an API endpoint. The tools needed to follow along with this guide are Postman, an API development application, and a valid Etherscan API key. I'll leave all relevant links in the description below for this video. First, point your API request URL to api.etherscan.io forward slash API and set your request method to post. If you'd like to deploy this to any other testnet, replace the request URL to your specific testnet API endpoint. All right, for step two, setting API keys and module, under the request body, set the format to x-www-form-url-encoded. Include your API key under the API key field. Set the module to contract. And action to verify source code. So for step three in attaching source code, simply paste your contract source code under the source code parameter. If your contract uses imports, you'll need to concatenate the code into one file, otherwise known as flattening, as Etherscan does not support imports in separate files. Examples of Solidity flatteners that can be used are Solidity-Flattener by at BlockCat.io or Solidity Flattery by at Dave Appleton. See links in the description. In step four, configuring source code parameters, configure the details of the deployed contract, such as contract name, compiler version, optimization used, and so on. You have to specify the fields marked as required and optional fields if applicable to your contract. The final body sample request using bulk edit and postman will resemble this. In step five for contract verification results, upon sending your request, you should receive a GUID 50 characters in length as your submission receipt. You may check the status of your source code verification using the check source code verification status endpoint. The average processing time is between 30 and 60 seconds. Upon successful verification, users will be able to interact with your contract on Etherscan and it will be listed under the verified contracts page. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed verifying contracts programmatically on Etherscan, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, check out our website at rugdoc.io and follow us on Twitter, rugdoc.io, so you get the latest alerts of anybody trying to rug or other important information in the DeFi space. And that's gonna do it for this video. We appreciate you watching. Take care.